I have found that even the most ignorant people I talk to are aware of the long history of the so-called U.S. government and other Western governments testing chemicals, biologicals, radiologicals on U.S. cities, from St. Louis, Missouri, to New York City, New York, uh, to Santa Fe, New Mexico, to Dallas, Texas. There have been thousands of programs declassified, and some programs or operations had thousands of tests within them. And you can look this up on the Department of Energy's own website. Uh, in one uh, decade-long program, 4,300-plus foster children radiated to death. That's putting children in a chamber and giving them dif different dosages of radiation. In some cases, they were dead within minutes. They were the lucky ones. Some, it took years to die. And there's the ringworm children testing in Israel, 110,000 kids. That's why I say the government's bad. That's why we don't turn our, our guns in. Because our government cannot be trusted. Our founders taught us that. And at Infowars.com, we try to focus in on real threats. Real threats. There are over 200 admitted, they've got more, level 4 bioweapons labs in the U.S. There were only about 100 10 years ago. They've doubled them. And they develop bioweapons. Airborne Ebola just one example, weaponized mouse pox that kills 90 plus percent of humans it comes in contact with. And the one facility out of over 200 that I fingered as the type of place I expect something bad to happen at is the Galveston facility built on a barrier island that is the biggest U.S. loss of life from a natural disaster ever. Almost 10,000 people died when a hurricane hit it 100 years ago. You can look that up. And they, it, it gets totally flooded all the time, devastated all the time. Uh, and they've got a level four bioweapons lab there in a level two facility. That means swipe cards and kind of you know, little glass enclosure uh, lab areas. And they've got everything. They've got weaponized stuff in there that is airborne and kills almost everybody that comes in contact with it. Now they have missing uh, enough of a type of hemorrhagic fever or Venezuelan jungle fever that's airborne uh, and that they thought was a bioweapon attack back in the 90s when it first showed up because it was so deadly. And then, of course, our loving government got samples of it, cultured it, uh, and now uh, a container of it enough to infect millions of mice and rats, that's who spreads it, uh, is now missing. And of course it may turn out you know, later that it was just misplaced. The point is, is that this is the type of cover story they're going to use when they release a 13 monkey type scenario. And I cover that in my film, End Game Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Now this story's out and everybody's saying, Alex, you gotta cover it, you gotta cover it. This is not the first time this lab has had problems. It's been hit by hurricanes and uh, had massive damage. Now, a level four is supposed to have three rows of fence, machine gun nest, minefield, and then it's supposed to be underground at least three stories with explosive firebombs in it to burn out everything if uh, anything gets released. It's automated. Of course, they just don't do that. That's the international treaties. Okay, so... Uh, now, uh, hemorrhagic fever, a uh, really nasty type of jungle Venezuelan hemorrhagic fever, uh, is uh, missing. And hey, I know what you'll just do. You'll just say it doesn't exist. I understand. That's, that's, uh, there's no 3 billion bullets. There's no, or 2 billion bullets. There's no thousands of armored vehicles. There's no checkpoints. There's no FEMA being set up as a domestic military, a new branch of the military for the American people. Everything's fine. And Obama wouldn't raise taxes on poor people, but he did. Uh, but it's okay because he said he wouldn't. And lo being lied to is a great thing. Now, here's an article a few years ago, Biolab and Galveston raises concerns. Uh, New York Times was reporting on that. Here's our report last year. There are literally more than 50 reports we've put out. And I, I told my crew to go out and do this report. We, we went out and asked Austinites, are you concerned about the 30 or so level 4 bioweapons labs in Texas alone? Are you concerned about this? Uh, do you know that Lyme's disease, weaponized uh, type of syphilis, that's what it is. They call it Lyme's disease. Uh, was bred at Plum Island off the coast of New York and released in New York. Maybe you don't care about that. Maybe you don't care about any of this. You know, Dr. Eric Pianca at UT, and we cover this in my film Endgame, Blueprint for Global uh, Enslavement. Uh, Dr. Eric Pianca, uh, he came out uh, 
uh, four or five years ago and said, we need to reduce world population by 90%, and I can't wait till the airborne Ebola is released. Me and my family are ready to die. We're sad about it, but it's for the earth. And he gave a speech to the Texas Academy of Sciences and was given a standing ovation when he said similar things. So, um, you know, the FBI went and visited him about it, but it's par for the course. He had graduate students and people sending me emails saying, he doesn't go far enough, we need to get rid of all humans. And then I looked up one of the graduate students, now a PhD uh, doctor, and she was working in a level four bioweapon lab in Southern California. These are people that say kill everyone, and they're working uh, in biology at UT uh, in bioweapons uh, areas like Pianca has access to. Well, he's the head of one of the departments. Uh, and uh, on his own official UT website, last time I checked, he's been up there for like six, seven years, uh, he talks about how much he loves Lucifer. I don't know, loves Lucifer, wants everybody to die, and his graduate students all swarmed in on me, uh, and I looked up one of them that said all humans should die, and she works in bioweapons. It's just, you know, not a big deal, nothing to... Nothing to look into or anything. You know, I'm an extremist. I'm a bad man. Now, let's just trust a government uh, that's been caught killing tens of thousands of us and different secret tests that they've declassified. Uh, let's just trust these people. Uh, everything's fine. And let's just trust the fact that they're gearing up for domestic warfare with two billion plus bullets and thousands of armored vehicles and domestic security forces that they all admit. I am begging uh, all of you to go to Infowars.com and to... Go to this area of the site. A retired Army captain warns DHS uh, acquisitions are bold threat of war against the American people and that a coup d'etat uh, is taking place. And it's a soft coup. You'll never hear about it. It's just, oh, now we have checkpoints in America. Now we can disappear you. Now we can drone you. It's all happening. It's all happening. If you don't have checks and balances, strong men come in. Special interests come in and take everything because it's an act of total domination. So we'll get this video that I'm uh, shooting right now up on InfoWars.com. There's an important rebroadcast today. I'm doing 4 to 6 p.m. on the Jenna 21 and with George Norrie with the syndicated Sunday show that's usually live. And I'll be back tomorrow live, 11 a.m. Central with the big official radio show. But everything is accelerating. Everything is accelerating. They're coming after the guns. Everything. I told you they would. Your denial is what is empowering them. Get up, speak out, get involved. Defend the Republic. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com on the real threat of bioweapons labs filled, in some cases, with hundreds of pathogens that will kill 9 out of 10 people. And that's conservative. Some mouse pox estimates are 98 plus percent. And guess what universities in the U.S. just did last year? They released the recombinant breakdown on RNA and DNA and viruses, bacteria, you name it, to be able to create hundreds and hundreds of different bioweapons that can be done in labs for a few hundred thousand dollars. That way they have plausible deniability when they release it. When all the little drones fly over and release it on you and your family. Oh, you better look up the Sunshine Project. They got Marine Corps documents a decade ago. The Marine Corps told them to reclassify them, so they took them down, but they're still online. Look into Project Sunshine and the program to spray U.S. cities. It's on the Google uh, archive. Again, or maybe you shouldn't look into it because, you know, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Everything's okay. Take all the vaccines. Drink the fluoride water. Feed your kids GMO. The government loves you.